Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are again taking a look at the leading cryptocurrency on the market. We'll be talking about Bitcoin, its price action in the past week, and its correlation with gold and how it affects the prices. So if you want to hear more, keep watching and make sure to like, subscribe and leave a comment down below if you have any questions about the video. So let's first take a look at the chart. Uh, this is uh, the past week chart and we can see that we've seen some strong movements in the past week following the price ranging uh, right here. So since then the price is moving a bit crazy as we can see it, uh, but we uh, ended the week in a downtrend with this series of lower lows and lower highs. So uh, on Thursday, Bitcoin stabilized uh, uh, somewhere around 14,000, but and that is the midpoint of a three-month price range. So right now, the cryptocurrency is on track for a 15% decline this month. Although some analysts expect a brief relief bounce, similar to what occurred already in late February and March. Uh, also, most of cryptocurrencies were mixed on Thursday, indicating uncertainty among uh, traders because we do know that when something happens to Bitcoin, it is most likely that uh, the same thing will happen to the other popular cryptocurrencies. Uh, uh, let's say Ethereum, uh, which is the second largest cryptocurrency by market cap, it is also trading around the midpoint of its three month price range right now, and it is around 3000. Uh, it is down 13% so far this month, compared with an 11% drop in Solana token and 4% drop in Dodge over the same uh, period. So as I said, the same thing is happening to all of the other cryptocurrencies uh, right now. Uh, when it comes to Bitcoin, the activity on the Bitcoin blockchain continues to hold up despite Bitcoin's 40% price dip from the no November peak around uh, as we remember 69,000. So still, it really remains uncertain whether transaction activity on the blockchain leads or actually reacts to changes in crypto prices. Uh, right now, Bitcoin slipped below uh, 39,000 after facing this rejection above 40 on uh, Thursday. And as I said, we are seeing uh, a series of lower highs and lower lows and we uh, I really don't expect to see uh, any bullish movements right now. Uh, however, uh, this week we have made a support level right here uh, and we are back to it right now. We were uh, at the same level uh, on the beginning of the week. So as I said, we tried to go up and above uh, these uh, uh, higher levels, but we didn't manage to do it. So that is something about the price action and as I said, we cannot predict anything because we kind of entered a bear market and we are uh, in it right now and uh, we cannot expect the prices to move upwards right now. But however, I want to talk um, about something that's going to happen next week. And uh, there is a thing. The Fed is likely to raise the benchmark interest rate by 50 basis points, which is... Uh, uh, accelerating the pace of monetary tightening that began last month with a 25 basis point hike. Also, the central bank is expected to start the process of shrinking its nearly 9 trillion balance sheet next week. So all of these policy tightening is considered bearish for risk assets, including Bitcoin. So that may be uh, and that is actually a reason for this bear market that we are experiencing uh, right now. Also, you should definitely uh, watch out for the dollar price uh, because we do know that the post-Fed uptake in Bitcoin should be viewed with caution if the dollar continues to rise. And that is because of the inverse correlation between the two has strengthened in recent weeks as we already uh, no. So that is something about the price, but however, I want to also talk about Bitcoin's correlation with gold because it really affects the price in some way. And uh, there is a inverse correlation with PAX gold and it represents the leading cryptocurrency's recent behavior as a risk asset rather than a store of uh, value. So the case for adopting Bitcoin as an inflation hedge 
uh, an asset that holds value and preserves the purchasing power of the money invested is really weakening with each passing week. And the cryptocurrency's 19-day correlation with gold, uh, with PAX gold, which is a token backed by physical gold and with a value pegged to the price of gold, has slipped to a rec record low. Uh, also, the 60-day correlation between Bitcoin and PAX gold hit a record low early this month. So this correlation flipped in February just as stagflation talks began during the rounds and the US Federal Reserve pledged to fight the dreaded high inflation low growth situation with interest rate hikes. And uh, this really reflects Bitcoin's increasing correlation with macro stock indices as well as its recent behavior as a risk asset rather than a store of value and points to price turbulence that we are right now experiencing and it's gonna be ahead of us as markets digest the impact of further inflation and liquidity withdrawals. So also that is one of the reasons we are in a bear uh, market right now. Uh, also, Bitcoin proponents have long hailed the cryptocurrency as an inflation hedge thanks to its max supply cap of 21 million and a programmed reduction in the pace of supply expansion every four years. But however, Bitcoin right now isn't living up to its reputation as digital gold despite inflation reaching a four decade high uh, this year. So we do know that the uh, cryptocurrency has dropped 12% this year while PAX gold and gold have gained over uh, 4%. So uh, also investment demand for gold, which is a classic st uh, store of value asset and products tied to gold has picked up amid the inflation scare and geopolitical reasons. So uh, also exchange traded funds have purchased over a hundred tons of gold since uh, March and PAX gold's market cap has nearly doubled this year and uh, Tether Gold, which is the second largest gold backed token, has seen its market value rise by 55%. And in contrast to it, uh, when it comes to Bitcoin, uh, Bitcoin exchange traded funds and exchange traded products have bled over 11,000 Bitcoin this month, uh, which is pretty much reversing the ma March inflows. Uh, so that is something about the correlation and we can see that it is really inverse and uh, I can say that it is probably too early to say something de definite about it and perhaps Bitcoin's utility goes beyond prices and uh, it is determined mainly by short-term traders and however we'll have to wait and see how actually as I said Bitcoin uh, reacts to the market but we cannot ignore its correlation to uh, real gold and its correlation to inflation and all of the uh, other stuff that's going on right now on the market. So as I said, uh, check out the news and definitely uh, check out uh, Coindesk uh, for their articles on all of these things that are happening because you should consider everything if you want to invest in crypto right now. So that's it for today's video guys and make sure to like, subscribe and comment down below with your thoughts on the video. And at the end I just want to say that I'm not a financial advisor and any investments you make on your own liability. So thanks for watching and see you soon.